He's so grateful for her loyalty that he's willing to suck a dick. Forget killing someone, he's gonna suck your father's dick. Uh, yeah, welcome to the vlog, to the vlog, welcome to the vlog, motherfucker. Welcome to the vlog, to the vlog, hope you enjoy your stay. What's up everyone, welcome to the first installation to the G-Spot where we'll be diving in a little deeper into some of hip-hop's wildest and craziest lyrics. In today's segment, we're gonna find out what the fuck Biggie actually meant when he said the following line. <clears throat> when I met you, I admit my first thought was the trick. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. What? Now, if you're unfamiliar with these lyrics, are from a respectfully titled song named Me and My Bitch, which was released by Biggie back in 1994. This song was released when homophobic lyrics were really, really common in hip-hop, so most listeners, when they listened to these lyrics for the first time, they were pretty damn confused. But honestly, even though the song's been out for 18 years, it's still pretty confusing. Until now. So let's begin with the introduction of the song. There's dialogue of Biggie asking a female whether or not she would kill for him. After a small little pause, she responds with yes. Now, this is clearly a sign showing that, you know, she would do anything for him, right? She's willing to murder for Biggie. So perhaps this is just Biggie's way of one-upping her, you know? He's so grateful for her loyalty that he's willing to suck a dick. Forget killing someone, he's gonna suck your father's dick. Now, that's some crazy shit. I wanna ask you now, is this gesture noble or just a little bit sus? As DJ Vlad said in an interview, there's not a girl in the world good looking enough for me to suck on anyone's dick. Now, I concur, but maybe, maybe, we're just not as loyal as Biggie is. Now, the lyrics start making a lot more sense once you realize that Biggie also had a gay best friend, and his name was Man. <laughs> Biggie's gay best friend honestly adds a whole new dimension to these lyrics. Now, I am gonna go with English teacher on your ass for a second, but bear with me, because I actually think I'm onto something here. I believe Biggie not only wrote this line to shock listeners, but also challenge hip-hop's norms, and he did so while simultaneously showing support for his friend. Biggie was well aware that these lyrics would turn heads in 1994, and honestly, at the time, you would need a seriously large sack to fit your balls in to mention some lyrics like this in a love song. Being the creative genius he is, Biggie not only managed to disrupt the hip-hop community, but he did so whilst also showing support for his best friend. Who knew such a nasty ass line could be so wholesome? That's all for today's segment of the G-Spot, but I want to know what you think. Do you think I got it right? Do you think I got it wrong? Is there anything that I missed out? Did you hear anything in the lyrics that I didn't cover? Please mention it below. I would love to know what your thoughts were on this episode and just the lyrics that I broke down. Please share this video with a friend if you learned something, but more importantly, don't forget to tell somebody you love him and I'll see you on the next one. What's Prada? What's Dolce and Gabbana? What's Fendi, Givenchy, and Balenciaga? What's Gucci? What's Prada? What's Dolce and Gabbana? What's Louis, Givenchy, and Balenciaga?